Hey YouTube, it's Electric Ventures here with another pickups video. Um, one of the vendors that, um, or proper eBay stores in Australia was having a bit of a sale last week um, and they had a, a few items of interest. Um, and I, I also used the, uh, it had buy now or best offer, so I put in a few uh, on about half a dozen items. Some um, low offers and said um, offer applicable for all items and they accepted so um, actually caught me by surprise so I got all of these items that are follow for quite a reasonable price so first we have another one for the primary collection uh, which is Tennis Ace for the Master System the case is actually in really good condition has the very common chip just there but other than that nice opening case uh, manual is uh, near mint, the label's just got a little bit of lift there but we'll be able to glue that back down again and that'll be fine, there's no actual tear damage or anything. So it's another uh, uh, tennis sports game um, and these were uh, you know like four or five dollars each I got these for. Now the other one is, I wasn't sure about the condition of this one, this is the one I paid least for, so PGA Tour Golf we have a, uh, a video rental sticker that's actually stuck on the inside of the label so we'll have maybe have a little bit of a go at getting that off later you never know with those other than that other than the fact I think the actual case is alright it's got a little little crack there uh, sorry I didn't show you at the back did I there we go so it's another golf game um, no manual with this one and the label is a little tatty but I only buy I think it might have even been three dollars for that one so it's still another one for the collection um, and in the same vein another sports game that I didn't have was Golf Mania doesn't look too bad. This one's a little bit more uncommon I think and this one is complete so manual's quite good and cartridge is in excellent condition uh, I still didn't pay very much for this for probably only about five dollars so that's um, three more for the primary collection there so far and the one that actually attracted me to the site that I thought I'd have a go at getting um, so on average everything in here if you average out including the postage is five dollars each so that to me is an absolute bargain so but this one here in particular is one that's actually worth a fair bit of money so it's one of the rarer ones so it's Vance Dungeons and Dragons Heroes of the Lands and it's in excellent condition got some quite interesting screenshots back there and inside awesome we have a nice, and it's a thick manual and thick manuals aren't always in good condition it's a near mint manual and the cartridge is perfect so it's really good to get one of the um, more uncommon titles in such good condition so four more for the primary collection uh, so while I was there and to make the deal um, good and I do you know in on the Mega Drive collect shoot 'em ups primary they had a copy of Space Harrier 2 which I didn't have and it looked in pretty good nick and it, it's only missing the, the tag on the top other than that the case is in excellent condition and it has both the manual and the cartridge yeah, so um, depending on whether you watch my other videos I am only collecting shoot 'em ups and a couple of arcade games for the Mega Drive and shortly I'll be going through my Mega, current Mega Drive collection and cleaning out the ones that I don't want uh, and uh, I know it's an, only another sports game but it's um, Saturn games are really expensive and getting a Saturn game for five dollars and it looked in reasonable condition they did have a second one but that one did look quite tatty around the edges so this one doesn't look in too bad condition at all and it includes both the manual, which is in the box upside down. Let me fix that up. So we've got the manual, 
uh, another little satin uh, advertisement and the disc it has a couple of little minor marks which are not going to show up on there but other than that that's actually in better condition than some of my other ones so it's actually nice to get another satin game because I haven't had haven't found any that I wasn't willing to pay the prices. I mean, some of the satin games lately have been going for almost $20 each, and I'm um, definitely not paying that sort of money, so not bad for $5. All right, that's that nice little lot. Let's go and have, um, give some of those a go. Okay, here we go with International Victory Gold on the Seeker Saturn. Seems to have quite good um, sound so far. Let's do an exhibition game. Well, I'm going to do something hard. Sounds quite good. Um, I'm just going to leave all the defaults as normal. Once again. Okay. Oh, I'll get the ball stung off me immediately. Okay. Well, I know what the A button does. Oh, ball stung off me again. <laughs> Did a foul. So the C button changes players. Oh, I'll get a replay of my indiscretion. Got a foul this time. You can probably turn the replays off if they annoy you. So once you got used to the controls, I reckon this would be a pretty good um Oh Yeah well <laughs> Once you got used to the controls I reckon this would be a pretty good um soccer game. I mean good with a couple of mates playing. And probably a decent challenge playing in the, against the computer. Alright, we'll move on. Right. Here we go with Space Area 2 on the Mega Drive. Now, I actually had a bit of a problem with my capture card with this one. It keeps on coming up copyright all the time. Copyright material, so we'll have to do it the old way. Okay. So, whoops, <laughs> I haven't actually played the original space area for a while. So Get ready. That's a good, good, nice clear speech. The um, copyright warning has um, got me on this. It might be that I'm using a Mega Drive 1 and um, I only have the, um, the normal AV out, so it's only got mono output. Get ready. And I don't have a, um, a cable that'll take the one left channel and put it into two ports at the moment. So it might be the fact that it's only receiving sound on one channel that's throwing it out. Well, I'm hoping it is. Otherwise, it's going to be difficult. 
capturing this video as well. Whoops. That's it, I didn't think I'd be very Get good ready. this one. So it's very colourful and seems quite fast and the sounds nice and clear. Come down to the snake things. I've got any lives left? Get ready. Oh yes, just. <laughs> now we're right into a tree. Oh dear. So I died. But um, no, a very colourful game. I'm looking forward to playing it some more. And I'm going to concentrate while I'm playing it. Um, and a good addition to the um, shoot 'em ups. Okay, here we go with Heroes of the Lance. Screen so it introduces the characters, the four pe people from the um, what's well, more than four to all the characters from the um, books. Here are the actual heroes of the lands. Oops, oh, I seem to be killing characters here. Okay, so right uh, button goes to the hero select screen. Okay, and the button does their ability. You can't seem to jump. down there is indicating we can go a direction. Yeah, okay. Top lock fell down there. Okay, so you need to press in a direction to do a thing. I've already killed another character. <laughs> Not doing very well here. Running out of um, heroes here. Okay, so we've killed most of the heroes of the lands. I mean, the graphics are quite good. It looks like quite a complicated game. Let's see if this works again. Ah, take scroll. Okay, there we go. We got a scroll. and use this item. Okay, and we can go to another room there. So, you know, it's a bit of a, um, a nice bit to come up combat. I keep on pressing the right button, sorry. Combat's pretty hard considering they get right inside your space quite a bit. <laughs> and there we go, I've killed them all. Alright, definitely it was a great big giant thick instruction manual, so probably best if I read that before having another go. But the graphics look good. Here we go with Golf Mania. Okay, we better go for practice. Okay, hole number one. Okay, so we set our direction. We'll go for the one wood. Where we want to hit on the ball. 
Mm -hmm. Move off there. You're going to slice a little bit. In rough. Halfway the fairway. There we go. better so the hitting the ball is fairly simple on the fairway at least obviously messed myself up a fair bit I'll go that way Just take an optimum shot length. Okay, so we've got 179 yards to go. Yeah, didn't really get it in the sweet spot there, but let's see how we go. No, yeah, if you don't get it inside the green at all, you have a pretty ordinary shot by the looks of it. So two iron. We'll go for the three iron. And the different clubs have a wider sweet spot area. Zooms in for the green. Yeah, pretty close. Ah, oh, we went off the back. <laughs> I suppose not bad for the first game. So 16 yards. Pitching wedge. Now I don't know how you control. Because we do that, we go too far. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. And we're back out again. Alright, well anyway, that looks like quite a good golf game. I uh, don't have a enough time to have a good in-depth game at the moment. PGA Tour Golf. Obviously this is the X-Rental one, so it took a couple of goes to put it in. Can't break out of the entry screen. This button too. Okay, so crack this round. One player. Player one is human. Which would you like to play on? Well, we've got a couple of different courses, that's nice. We've got a bit of advice, okay. Gives you an overview, which is always nice. Interesting, using slow drawn stuff. So that tees flags over that way. Say club. Oh, well you've got to do, what's one of those ones you've got to do something. We don't get an overview of where the ball's going. We just have a redraw at the new spot. So it's sort of like a really early version of Lynx 386. We did hit it 316 yards. Okay, we get an overview. Yeah, look where we shot it, all the way over there. Okay, it's lined us up. I take it it's automatically selecting our clubs for us. I might have had to hit the thing twice like in other games, I think. 111 yards, and where we end up. I've got to be closer. It's auto selecting the clubs for us, which is probably an option that you can play with. So we just need to be just underpowered. We hook that a little bit because of what I just did. Yep. So, um, not as arcadey as the other golf, but probably not a bad realistic golf. Um, uh, probably a really you know, simply programmed one. But anyway, good fun.
Okay, here we go with Tennis Ace. Um, strangely enough, this would not work with my Sega Arcade Power Stick 2. But it works perfectly fine with a normal you know, Sega controller. Just uh, so an exhibition Mac player, one versus computer. We'll select the first things that come. We'll go to lawn, one set match. Found select. A couple of different things we can listen to, so interesting. Okay, so we get a top down view of that bit. <laughs> and here we go, this is an example of why I shouldn't play tennis. Oh. Well, at least I served this time. Check my position. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm losing. I'm gradually getting used to the um controls, though. No. Can't seem to move until it's determined that the ball's in. Oh, lovely. Game point. Hit the ball back. I need the ball back again. Ah, didn't mean to move backwards. Well, there we go. At least I got a rally in. Um, yeah, I suppose it's not bad. If you like tennis games, it's probably okay. Um, I think there was another tennis game. Uh, probably great tennis. I think it was better than this one. But anyway, all right. That's uh, tennis ace.